and takeaways and any other cool words starting with T so you can advance your business online the kingdom way. Welcome your host, Christopher Harold. Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? It's me, Christopher Harold, Mr. OD himself, Mr. Overdeliver, the online marketing superman himself, coming to you from my home office in the Dallas Forward Metroplex for episode 68 of the Kingdom Market Secrets Podcast. And I'm excited to be before you today, my friend, because today we're going to follow up and do a part two of the last episode that we did that was called, you know, 10 Steps to Goal Setting Success. And today's episode is called 10 Steps to Goal Setting Success, part two. Two part dos, 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 or do wherever you might you know be from. But I'm excited to be before you today, my friend, for part two of this. And really quick before we dive into part two, just in case if you've been sleeping under a rock, just in case if you've been in hibernation or fasting from the world, you know, if you have not heard the brand new, fully revised, highly regarded. Fastest growing masterclass and challenge today. One of the most popular masterclass challenges today in the world today. The Money and Marketing Masterclass, especially for Christ Center Kingdom Entrepreneurs. The brand new class is starting here on Monday, October 26th. And if you have not registered by now, you are doing yourself a total disservice. Why? For the first time ever, I'm doing this brand new class at no charge. At no charge charge free f-r-e-e free yes you heard me right the last time i offered this i was told i should charge fifteen thousand dollars for this because that's how powerful that's how transformational it is and there's nothing else like it right now today you will not find anything else like it so do yourself a favor if you're a serious entrepreneur business owner salesperson and you want to grow your business you want to discover how to create a financially healthy business that attracts new clients online in a fast and predictable way. What you need to do is go to moneyandmarketingmasterclass.com right now. Moneyandmarketingmasterclass.com and get your spot. Since this is no charge, it is first come, first serve. So don't delay. Don't procrastinate. Get in right now. It's going to be totally just life changing. I mean, it's just amazing the results that have come from this. And let's go. So go right now. Go to moneyandmarketingmasterclass.com and get your spot. And be ready to be totally transformed. Uh, that's a guarantee. I, th- I think <laughs> I think if, if you heard the, the stories and case studies and testimonies coming from this, you know that that is not how hyperbole. That is 100% been authentic and real. All right, my friend. So let's talk about episode 68, 10 Steps to Goal Setting Success. This is part two. So if you missed part one on episode 67, let's go back and listen to it, you know, and, and check out. Uh, 67 and but let's dive into this i'm just going to pick up where i left off in the first part i did the first five so now i'm gonna do the second five all right so so i'm, so I'm gonna start with uh number six in part one i did number one two three and four and five now i'm gonna do six through ten all right so this th- these steps so this is step six all right so step six is include others so when you're setting your goals it's very important to include others right family friends like-minded people uh, like 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 what we do inside of our god's masterpiece which is our high level mastermind for our for our, our really more serious kingdom entrepreneurs is that we get together once a week or actually twice a week for accountability which is awesome which is something that everybody needs but we get together get together and include others in our goals we share our goals 
and then, then 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 we come back and share the results from setting those goals. So, and what it does, it keeps everybody accountable. You know, so when you include others, also what happens in our group, our group encourages one another. You can do it. I believe in you. Let me help you do this. I mean, we have an amazing, we're a family. God's masterpiece is a family, right? And and so and so it's, it's treated that way as a family. We get the encouragement and support you need because we do everything together. So include others in your goals. You know what I mean? We read together. We pray together. We got a, the hour of power of prayer uh, with, our, with our God's masterpiece. Uh, we, we, we do our core values together. We do everything together. So the key thing is you want to include others because why? It'll help you be more accountable and you can get the cheerleader that support base that you need as well. All right. So it's very important to include others in your goals as well. Step seven is something I had to do a lot better of. Even today, even today is celebrate along the way. Um, I was always told, my mentors always told me, celebrate every success you get. Especially when I first got started in business, right? Because when I first got started, my, my mindset was that I, I was, I'm thinking for the home run. I'm swinging for the fences. I only want a home run, right? And the home run would be maybe landing a certain client or getting a certain amount of income, right? Right? I mean, that's like, oh, if I don't hit this, then, you know, nothing else matters. And it made me miserable. It made me miserable. So you want to celebrate the successes along the way, you know? And be smart, you know, when your prayers are being answered, don't go out and spend all your money, you know, by celebrating with the town and taking everybody out to dinner, you know, because you got your first client or, but it could be as small as getting your first lead. It could be as simple as getting a, a funnel set up, uh, uh, hiring a mentor, someone such as me, you know, <laughs> uh, it, being a part of what we're doing at God's Masterpiece. Or it could be, I mean, uh, doing your first post, or it could be doing your, your, your you know, your 50th post. It could be, I mean, the bottom line is that you want to celebrate each success along the way. You know, uh, like I got a brand new book that's going to be coming out real soon that you guys are going to get your hands on called Kingdom Affirmations. Well, I need, I should have I should have celebrated when I finished writing, finished, you know, writing it. And I didn't. So I got to go back and celebrate that. Right now, when it's published, you know, we'll celebrate that and everything like that. But the point is that celebrate everything along the way, because those small steps, those small successes encourage you to keep, to keep pushing and keep doing more. All right. So celebrate. And step eight, dream big. Uh, you, you you want big goals. Now, I have big goals. Now, uh, why? Because I my father is big. You know, my my, my, my father is the king of kings and lord of lords, and, I, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm a king, and so I have big goals. You know why? Because I want to expand my kingdom territory that I have here on earth, right? And so I have big goals. Um, a lot of people have very small goals. When you have very small goals, they don't push you and challenge you because most, most people set small goals. Why? Because they feel, they believe that's the only thing they can attain. See, you need goals that'll stretch you. You need goals that'll be like, oh my goodness, I don't know about this. I set goals like that all the time, right? Big goals that'll stretch me, that gets me outside my comfort zone. Because if your goals are too small, you won't achieve very much. So, so you, so you want big goals because the word of God says, you know, my God can do more than what we ever ask or think. Right. And so, and so stretch yourself, set some big goals. All right. To, to put yourself there. And then, here's the deal. If you, you set a big goal and, and, and say, if you come up just a little bit short, you probably accomplished a lot. For example, if you've never, earned, never earn, say, say if you never earn a hundred thousand dollars in your business. All right, I'm just throwing a number out there. Or oh, say if you never earn uh, $50,000 in a month in your business, right? Stretch yourself to say, my goal is to earn $50,000 a month. And say you come up short and you only earn $37,000 a month. Would that be pretty cool as well? Right? So set big goals that are stretch you. So even if you come up short, you still will accomplish a great deal. All right? Step nine, think long term. The biggest mistake most folks make is only thinking right now for today. Every decision I make in my business is long term. It amazes me about the amount of people that have short term thinking. They have the lottery mindset, instant gratification mindset, right? They only think right now for today or next week, right? Not, in, not if you're going to succeed in business, not if you're going to succeed as a kingdom entrepreneur. It's just not going to work that way by thinking right now for today. Um, there's a statement that says uh, we, over, we overestimate what we can do in two years but underestimate what we can do in 10. Very powerful statement. We overestimate what we can do in two years, and I've done that too, where we, we think, well, I, I, you know, 
I can become a, 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 a eight figure company in two years when at this time, maybe you only, uh, 